Hello everyone, this is Mr. 13 Things, or Silence Did Good, depending on which uh, channel I upload this to. And what we're in the middle of right now is talking about quaternions, uh, which is basically four-dimensional math to do three-dimensional rotations. It is the math of robots, satellites, and it turns out SketchUp. And so what I'm going to do now before we dig into the coding uh, within Ruby and then a JavaScript, um, perhaps processing JS, we're going to look at uh, how easy it is to do this stuff pure just graphically in a program like SketchUp. And if you notice here, I've got it set, so I'm looking, ooh, that's kind of neat. Look at that. I'm looking down I like that ground plane. So I'm going to go ahead and show you to start. I'm going to use a standard view at the top, and I've also got my camera set to, to parallel projection. I also want to point out, anytime you get into any system, you want to right or else check your settings, and that would be, in this case, set up the model. I'm going to do decimal inches, which may seem odd if you're European, but somehow this program, as great as it was, was built as the base unit being an inch. So if you're playing around with programming, sometimes it makes it a little bit easier just to do that. What I'm going to do right now is draw a line from there in the x direction. I'm going to make it one unit long, and then I'm going to make it down to there. I'm going to come back in here and come back into that. Now I'm going to draw another one one unit long. Go from there. I'm taking my thing in the right direction and just typing in one. You see the second one is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of those two. And I'm going to get rid of that. Erase. And I'm going to turn off for a second the axes. So you see I have a line there and I've got that goes from 0 to 1. We'll see. Let's see what that is. I can right click on it and say Entity Info. That is too long. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to draft a line. I'm going to divide it into two. So I'm going to go to here, right click and divide into two. And now I'm going to get rid of that. And so what I've got basically is a line defined by two points going from 1 in the x, 0 in the y, and 0 in the z to 2 in the x, uh, 0 in the y, and 0 in the z. I'm going to turn back now on my axes because I'm now going to go ahead and draw a rotation vector. I'm going to click that there and you'll see why when we get into the math of it. Turn off the axes again. I'm now going to draw, turn that 30 degrees to the right. So I grab my tool, grab, tool, hold the shift key to hold my face, grab that there, go to there, and I'm going to change that, moving that just 30 degrees. I typed in 30. So that is going to be my rotation angle. So I want to basically take this line, if you would, defined by two points and rotate it about that um, particular uh, axis. And so I'm going to show you and now looking at as I turn some of the axis on what that looks like. See that's there and you can see later on what the SketchUp tools are to do that. But you know you can look at it from anything but you can kind of visually that's going to turn out to be a truncated cone. Right now what I'm going to finally do is I'm going to go back and kind of think about, as we get into the quaternion math, there's two ways to think about that, uh, that axis. Go back here, camera, standard views, top, and now we're looking down. The best way to start is to just have that be an axis, axis vector and have a, it have a length of 1. Uh, later on, if you want to tie in the value of how much it rotates, that, that, that length could go from actually anywhere from 0 or a negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi or even more than that. So you could, there's a way to kind of encapsulate all the knowledge of a, a quaternion of rotation in one vector. There's probably a word for that, but I'll figure it out later. So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and now draw a line that direction. I'm going to make it one long. And it took it to there. And we'll see whether that works. We 
Ray. So that's a direction of one long, and I'm going to be rotating this about that axis. So once again, I'm going to turn on my axes there. Now, what you'll realize is if I go ahead now and label that, you won't see it per se, but let's see. You should start to recognize the sine and the cosine of 60 degrees, even as a decimal. And so you, there you see that the sine is the cosine value. It's the square root of 3 over 2, which turns out to be about 0.866 and the cosine is 0.5. So you're going to see that that basically even as we get into 3D rotations about any vector, um, it's going to be points that are defined by the x, y, and z components on a sphere of radius 1. However, for this one we've got to keep, we're going to keep it 2D because it'll make uh, we'll, make it the, the sense of tying this back into the knowledge of the unit circle where we've looked at understanding the sine, cosine, and tangent, tangent of pi over 12, pi over 6, and pi over 4, and doing a lot of reflections and the like. So that's, that's the bit. Now let's see essentially how we can do that in SketchUp. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know it's a little bit tough to do per se, but it's basically a follow me. So what I know is this is an axis that I want to set everything to be at. So I'm going to go ahead and um, and realize I want this to be, my line is there, I'm going to go ahead and change my axis now. So there, and it's kind of arbitrary what I do with this. I've got that there. It should be trying to go 90 degrees, which it isn't. Try it again. Axis, it makes no difference. Grabs 90 degrees. So now I've got something there that if I look down the pike actually there like that, I'm actually looking down. So what you're going to see is I'm going to draft a little box over here in this plane and later on that will be used to kind of grab direction. So I say it's easy to do in SketchUp. It's What I meant to say is it's easy to do in, um, in SketchUp Ruby. So what I'm going to do just to kind of take you finally back to some memory things, I'm going to draft now a circle that's going to be the basis of a follow me circle. I'm going to graph that circle there. It's in a plane. And now what I can do to do the quaternion rotation all the way around, I think what I do is grab first the circle. And then I say follow me and then I give it the entity. But pretty soon I'm going to think it's going to have to be the entities. I'm going to see it the other way. So I'm going to go and go ahead and turn off all my axes right now and see whether I've got things going turn off my axes and I'm going to look around to see whether that's kind of what I want to do. So it is what I want to do. I want to rotate about that. Just for grins I'm going to get rid of this and you're going to later on see I think it might be a problem with SketchUp only being able to do faces. So I'm going to cut that. So I actually want to take this and have it go all the way around that circle. Let's see if I can do it another way. I'm going to say follow me doesn't want to do that so I'm going to go edit undo extrude so is that extrude follow me tool let's extrude edit undo I'm going to do is take a little pause here and try to figure out this tool what I'm trying to use is the follow me tool which I thought that's extrude Let's usually follow me. Take a little pause here. Okay, I'm back after kind of doing some playing around and realized SketchUp will only do faces. And so what I've done is, I've, if you can see looking here, I've kind of defined a, um, a face that's in the same plane as um, the line defined or the plane defined by the endpoint, the origin point, and this vector. So I've got that, and now I can show you, you can do the quaternion, basically a whole bunch of them, probably will do them every uh, pi over 12. What I do is I grab the face, in other words, where I'm going to rotate about, 
I tell it the tool and then I show it what needs to be rotated and it does all that. So you can see there it kind of did and what I'll do now is I'm going to turn on hidden geometry and you can see that it kind of did this every, I think it's every automatically every 15 degrees. Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's how many are around. I'm pretty sure by default it's uh, 24. So you see this rotation and what it's done. Now, uh, it's cool stuff. It's hard to get around. I actually like this one, so I'm going to kind of stick this one, uh, use this, save this file. kind of looks like a some sort of dish, and it's, it's kind of neat, fun stuff. However, we get back to the, the issue of what we really wanted to do was to get the points um, defining that endpoint line there and endpoint line there. And so um, you can do that by Ruby, which is kind of be the easiest thing. It's going to be about three lines, of, I don't know, maybe five lines of programming. Or you can do it by mathematics, which we've done by hand in programming. So we're going to take a look at all that. What's great about this, of course, you can now then start applying particular materials to this. We're in SketchUp, so we can go here. Let's go ahead and apply a neat material. Um, translucent glass gold, apply that. And maybe we could then turn on some lights. All right, I don't know what that'll all do to it because we've kind of we've kept that text around, so we kind of know all that. You can kind of think that you can start applying materials and the like. We can we can then do things like this. Grab from an endpoint to particular things, and then grab another one from there, and start filling all kinds of different wireframes. We can do lots of neat stuff and get some pretty cool graphics here. Um, but realistically, if you kind of look at this, you can see that this is in SketchUp just a bunch of short line segments, which we're going to call edges, that surround faces, right? But which are defined by vertices or points. And so the mathematics of being able to do basically take any line in space uh, or any points in space and rotate about any given axis defined by a line segment, right? With a line segment basically showing the direction, and you get that by normalizing the vector, but then also the length of the line segment, whether it's a positive or a negative, I guess if we would have to know that, would tell us how far, what is the magnitude of the rotation of the quaternion. So cool stuff. It is the basis of a lot of robotics, and we'll get into that as well. But what we're trying to do is just show the different ways, once you do it by hand, that you'd never do it by hand again. Now, if you started with the lattice method of mathematics back in fourth grade, and someone explained to you that this is going to come back at you every two years, it's going to come back in algebra, it's going to come back in trigonometry, it's going to come up in calculus and linear algebra, it might make a little bit more sense to take the time to figure out that all you're doing when you're doing the lattice mathematics is breaking a number up into smaller pieces and multiplying each piece by every other piece of the other number. Thanks for listening.